What is happening everyone? It is Andrew here from IDB. Now in iOS 11, there was a new control center. It got a really cool redesign and the more time I spend with it, the more I love it. And one of the best aspects is the ability to kind of dig deeper into it by 3D touching on many of the different elements to have these little pop-ups. They had a greater control. Now of course there was some control like this in the past, but it's even more expanded now. Things like HomeKit have this really nice little thing that pops up instead of having to have multiple panes along the bottom. We even have new ones like an Apple TV remote, screen recording, and other things that we just did not have in the past control center. So overall it's a great update. But how do you do it on non-3D touch devices, whether it's an older iPhone or something like the iPad? Well, it's really easy to do and it's really, really handy. So to access Control Center, you can either swipe up from the bottom, same as you would in the past, or you can double click the home button and go into the app switcher because those have been combined into one single interface. Now again, many elements you can just tap to control, like the flashlight, do not disturb, or uh, the sound. However, if you wanna get something like, you know, the HomeKit one, how do you get in there? Well, you just hold on to it for a second, simply holding on to the screen and it kind of really mimics the 3D touch interface. It looks like it and I, a lot of times I almost feel like I am pressing onto the display harder to make it pop up, but it really is just holding your finger on those UI elements for just a, a second longer than you normally would when tapping it and it'll start to move in a little bit and then pop up into that full screen, or not full screen, but a larger sized widget for you to more easily access. This is really great because you get all that expanded functionality of the new control center without actually having to have 3D touch on your device. And you really don't have, this is really similar to like those jailbreak tweaks that we've seen running around that mimic 3D touch, but without actually having the haptic feedback here on the iPad. Now, if you aren't familiar with control center, there's a bunch of new things you can do. Going into control center in settings, you can turn on a bunch of new things like Apple TV remote, screen recording, and all these other ones here that I don't use and all those will add to this grid and it'll actually be scrollable. If you happen to have so many that they don't fit, then you can just hold on to those icons for a second to open up some new interfaces. So let us know what you think of this awesome new control center down below in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.